Hello and welcome to another update video about Sand, the Sandbox. Um, yeah, a very, very interesting crypto project, which I really like and I think is going to be here in the next few years as well, because it is not just a game. It is a basically yeah, a metaverse, something that other people, companies build on, you know, building their own land, you know, whatever their own games uh, within this metaverse. And this is what I like. You know, I am a bit skeptical, you know, about gaming cryptos but the ones that are really related to something bigger like the sandbox i think are more solid projects it's only my view no financial advice of course so let's take a look at where we are coming from obviously we made the um the all-time high here that was back in november since then the sandbox has been in a long correction you can see that here that the potential based on the elliot wave counts that i've got on the chart here there is a potential that the low could already be in not guaranteed that the low is in but the potential is there because you know it has moved obviously all the way up and now it has to correct this whole move up it has to yeah just correct it because it was just too high so what we're doing we came down in a wave a the first move of a correction then a wave b to the upside second wave in a correction and now moved down in a wave c is the wave c already complete i can't say that for sure now it could also be that we're going to see the wave C low still down here, right? So that is still a possibility. Actually, it is also my primary expectation. And that is based on what I think Bitcoin is doing. But we need to be open. We need to be open. And the reason I say that is that I've told you since we hit that blue target area here. Yeah, I told you that the low could be in. The low could be in. So we've obviously hit that area here. Um, and uh, at any point in here where the target area is reached and this target area is spanning between one dollar and fifty and one two dollar and eighty three yeah so at any point in here the price could turn around and complete the correction now we don't have a confirmed uptrend yet i what i want to see now is a higher high so what we have seen after um the sandbox has come down we've seen a higher low for now at least but now we see a higher high to break this corrective structure so that is what I'm looking for now, a higher high. Um, is it going to come or not? I can't tell you that yet. Um, that is the risk in, in trading, in investing, whatever. Um, but what I can tell you is that it has hit very interesting price levels. It has come down into the target area where many crypto, or most cryptos, or generally historically, most assets that don't have a large market cap are turning around after a wave two correction. And that is what we are in, in an overall wave two correction. If I zoom out, this here was the wave one, Sandbox's very first wave one, and we're now coming down in a wave two, yeah? So that is what we're doing here. And um, the I've got a little bit of a problem with the target area where it was reached, because it was not really a Fibonacci level where it uh, found the low here that was at 258. What I would still like to see is a Sandbox reaching $2.30. That is the 0.786 FIP level. And I think it can do that. I think that is realistic. And with another Bitcoin sell-off um, possibly around the corner, and you will know that that is my view. If you follow my Bitcoin videos, then uh, yeah, I think that is very realistic. So this blue target area, I can even extend that further because this is where I would want the price to land, okay? In the 230 level range. It would also make another nice lower low again. And from there, it could then really complete the correction. But it has already reached the target area. So if we see a higher low here and a higher high, then we can confirm that the downtrend is over, at least with a higher certainty. Now, what have we seen here in the uh, sort of micro scale? Okay, so from that low, from the 22nd of January at 258, we have seen a potential five wave impulse. That is what many cryptos haven't done. So the structure that the sandbox is doing here looks very nice and very interesting. Um, and you can count this as a five wave impulse. And the five wave impulse into this direction would indicate that we could, with a higher probability, say that the low was already in, because if you can get five waves to the upside, that is into the direction of the higher level trend. And we can then assume that the low was already in, okay? So we have seen that, and now we see three waves to the downside at the moment, which is also interesting because that would indicate, right, we have seen here this wave uh, C, and that could indicate that, yeah, three waves down, the next move up would be five waves, and that could then push us into a higher high area. Now, in my last video, I mentioned that around $3.05, I entered a long position. I think that was actually, um, 
it was uh, with a high probability the price could have just gone through here you can see that it found support at 285 should have really bought down here but didn't um, did buy at three dollars and five when it was moving up a little bit more we saw more green candles it did then move up all the way to 330 i didn't close that trade i still have it open I did say that I didn't use a stop loss in this uh, short trade or short term trade because um, even if it drops lower, I'm just going to hold through. I don't think that this has ever been, I don't think that um, sand will stay below these levels. It will go up for sure. That is my view. And therefore, I'm not using a stop loss in this scenario here. I'm happy to hold through should the price drop lower. But my intention was to close the trade um, or take at least, take first. Uh, take my first profits when we reach here this uh, resistance line that is coming down here now unfortunately i think it would have gone um, higher here but unfortunately that was exactly when um at least as far as i can remember when the um yeah when the uh, negative news from the ukraine came then we saw a drop all the way down to 260 again but as you know uh, i didn't use a stop loss here so this trade is now again in profit and i think if it really can make a higher high here at the moment it hasn't done one then we can see higher prices. It now needs to move above 330. So it hasn't done that yet. Um, that would be the next resistance, 330. It could, pos it could be possible because what we see here is a broadening descending wedge, similar to what Bitcoin has formed. So you've got this um, shape of a descending broadening wedge, actually a bullish pattern. And there are different ways how you can draw it. I think this is one possible way. Um, and the target level of a descending broadening wedge or of a broadening wedge in generally a wedge would be if it breaks to the upside at the beginning of the wedge that would be here pretty much at three dollars and forty yeah i mean we're now at three dollars and ten um there is certainly a first uh, potential to move up to 340 if it breaks to the upside currently it's moving down a little bit but that could become here something like a bull flag yeah um but it needs to push higher at the moment there is no confirmed breakout if you get a breakout here above the uh, resistance line of that descending broadening wedge that would be at three dollars and twenty then the potential is free to move up to three dollars and forty and if it breaks that level then it can move up to the descending trend line that you've got here this is the trend line that is basically restricting the whole price move here so this is the level that i want really the sandbox to go through to get a more confirmation about the low could already be in okay so as i said at the moment the message is i think it has good chances to go up from here the sandbox i gave you the key resistance levels the sandbox is still holding above the 200 day moving average which is currently sitting at uh, around three dollars and um it has it has good potential to move up higher from here but we need to see for a confirmation a break above that descending trend line that is coming down here and we want to see a higher high certainly above four dollars and fifty but more ideally about four dollars and ninety that is quite a long way to go from here but unfortunately before that we do not get a confirmed breakout to the upside um, but i uh, from a risk point of view i think that is why i opened a long position here I, uh, yeah, I, I find the current levels fairly attractive. And even if we come down lower once more into the target area here, um, the reward, the potential reward that we can see here to the upside is much higher than the potential risk here. To the downside, it has already corrected quite a lot. And um, yeah, what I could expect is that we drop once more to $2.30 uh, in the next move down. But the potential to the upside would be the next price level to the upside in the next major wave up of course nothing moves in a straight line but in the next major wave up we should see here the 13 dollars and 40 um all the way up to 16 dollars and 40 yeah so this is sort of the price range i would expect for the sandbox all right so hopefully you like the update about sand if you did please smash the like button and subscribe and uh, also leave a comment for the algorithm and then if you really, really like the content and can't get enough of more crypto online, check out the channel membership. You can do that on my website and you can find a link for that in the description or you can do it here on YouTube. And uh, depending on what kind of membership level you select, you can get access to a weekly uh, live stream for the bronze members. But uh, in addition, also you get access to the Telegram live chat for silver and the Discord server also for silver members where you can find lots of additional content, including my buy and sell orders, all sorts of different stuff. And now very lately as well, an additional benefit for gold members is my analysis of uh, stocks and shares, where I talk about potential uh, entries and also exits. 
and I also provide a more regular S&P 500 update there. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.